SCA closed qualifiers. We're up in the uh, upper bracket finals, actually. You can imagine all that harass instead being shared between JG, who just had enough regen to see himself through this difficult start of the lane. Now he's got the Bracer ready as they get first blood up top. Chidori has, uh, on his official, 333 Morphling games on his account. His most played hero is Jug with 474. Okay, just to give you a reference. Castaway is dying through the gate comes Skem. Chidori might be in trouble as well. This is his 500th some odd game total on the Luna, uh, but still, it is another death in his belt. Absolutely. And here's the connection. Spear of Mars can come out in time, but they still have plenty of damage and enough time to really take down Bombi. Chasing for more now with the enchant cast away. Adaptive strike in time. Natsumi farming the vicinity. Joining for a kill now is actually it'll end up going to Cox. Uh, you know, into some sort of a situation where he can actually show up to a fight. Only really has the Dragon Lance and the Mask of Manus. You can just see how effectively they're going to be able to hunt him down now. Level 1 DK. Uh, Elder Dragon Form DK is rather what I mean as Chidori. This is a level 2 Lucy Theme Eclipse. Not really all too much to write home about, but it might just be enough for his team to try and turn this thing around. Dark Ascension used. There's going to be now nighttime naturally as they are chasing after more, but they're just all dying. The right clicks, they need just a bit more onto Jake. They finally get the kill. Ken, stunned up, is going to be able to get off the Rolling Thunder. Yes, but just barely, and they're just going to kill him with the right clicks. Castaway oh, almost hitting the Sprout that would have gotten the kill onto Mac. Instead, it's Natsumi who cleans up three above the tier two top tower. They have the critical strike and the pack leader aura here as well. They have so much bonus damage on this morph. He's already hitting for almost... Oh, he is hitting for over 300 on auto attack. As they are going to try and force a fight here. Ken, I mean, he is just taking down so easily. He does burn a lot of this mana from Natsumi at the very least. But look at him go. He doesn't even need to morph into any strength. Max going to jump in even further. Underneath the tier 4 towers. Is this too far? 17 minutes in. Diving tier 3s. That's not going to stop this team. They are too strong. League of players couldn't imagine this scenario. Dota players, we've all had a game go this rough for us. For Neon, it's it's one to forget already. Like, sure, there's a DK and a Morph, which do a lot of damage, but they had to fight their way to get into this game. This is not a cheesy game. Yeah, okay. I guess she's Zoo Light, though. You know what I mean? She's Zoo Light. She's not like a freaking, you know. He's not, he's not that bad. Come on now. Arena of Blood here. Tier 2 towers. Oh no. Chidori's going to be saved here by the Disruption Ken. Pretty decent rolling thunder now. Chidori letting loose this time a level 4 Lucent Beam Eclipse, but it's just still not enough damage. That being said, JG able to find a big kill on Natsumi. That's 1,600 gold over to the side now uh, of Geek Fam. It's only the second kill Neon has found. It'll slow this tower push substantially. That is true. Arena of Blood. That's for uh, the Tree Protector. Underneath the Tier 2 Tower here is where Bombi is going to die. That's the kill I was watching. Jing just jumped in, kind of spooked him uh, into using the Disruption. Well, you're going to have to be here. Uh, as I believe JG will also have one. But Chidori... Yeah, he really wishes he had that BKB. He's Looking for the slow siege. Elder Dragon Form is about to end here. So they're going to just make the jump now. Chidori, disruption save in time. Bombi, it cost him his life. But Chidori gets this BKB off. And now with the Eclipse, he's just dying though. Natsumi bringing too much damage to the table here. Giving chase has a waveform reaching for the kill. At the steps of the fountain, Chidori will fall. As the rest of Geek Fam are just chasing after Neon Esports, who have been absolutely routed in this fight. Absolutely routed in this first game as GG is called Geek Fam. I mean, you said it, Winter. They put on a clinic. Take down Neon in game one. The upper record finals already in game two here, guys. Uh, it was a fast game one. Okay, that guy is way too fast. <laughs> Still there. Well, the blood grenade will certainly help with that. And they give first blood to Mac. Seems like he valued the double bracer here first. Wanted to tank through some of these early flame guards. 
difficult though, right, for uh, the Kunkka here, especially if they're going to try and bring a hero down to kill you. Blood Grenade, nice torrent, prevents the Sprout from coming through. That might be enough to save his life as Ken. Hit by the X mark, Sleight of Fist in a second. Perfect timing there from Max. What a play! A lot of this right click damage coming through from Castaway, who is keeping it a second time. Round number two. This Skem is already making the rotation on through Boulder, hurling at Ken, but it's not going to change a difference as Max this time. He goes down. Neon, in fact, bringing two of their supports here. Uh, but it's still going to be a TP away in Fly 1. But he might be needed down bottom where Mac actually, he TPs in first because they're trying to make a play onto Mount Sumi. Both being called in. JG, he's tanky though. He's really tanky, but eventually killed off by one last Lucent theme. That's kind of something. Whoa. Zombie. Ah, that's uh, going to be unlucky for him. Trapped on the wrong side here. Beaten to a pulp with that tag team and the creeps now coming in. What will Neon have to face down this death? Perhaps Castaway can get up the vessel in time as Tom not too happy to see Ken rotating here. Chidori even thinking part of me about making a move here. And now we'll commit. And if God is already out, is the Doom's actually onto the Ember Spirit. Max rotates on through. Bow combo. Bow catches Chidori here as well as they get the kill onto Ken. Completely turning this on its head as even Castaway is going to struggle to catch up to with the Doom given the phase boots versus lack of boots now on Castaway. Could result in a second death here as he only traps the potato. Oh my goodness, they get a kill on bottom onto JG? Bin Jane getting dove yet again. Is going to be able to actually that illuminate. Still ticking down slowly, buying some time with a snowball. PPs are coming through from Skem, who does not have the hand of God, only the Divine Favor to try and keep him topped up, and there's just too much damage here. Mac is returning. He's got Boat in 10 more seconds. They intend to try and defend this. The Fortified is going to get used here early on. Skem dying underneath his tier 2 tower. Doesn't have too much more regen to use. He's going to get on back to underneath his tier 1. However, uh, with Cox and Mac now jumping in, may be able to... No. Good remnant out by Ken, preemptively already having one in place. That was very smart. And I guess with the Max Flame Guard, he, he might have lived anyway. So it was probably the right move to go for that bonus attack speed there, but that was close onto the Ember Spirit. We're going to try mid now on JG. Good hook stomp, but it can be swept up by that boat and now Torrent, and they have a Hurricane. Back on over to the high ground you go, JG. Radiant's getting friendly with Dyer's Bolton Tower. Oh, he actually he actually finished a blade mill on the center. Oh, so no blink. Just wanting to fight early. In the well, and already in position to be able to steal away this wisdom rune. They're gonna try and give it to Mac, but he how? Okay, I was using my doubt voice there, raising my inflection uh, to kind of imply that I didn't think Mac would be able to make it more the die wrong, but he might just pay the price here. Eliminate coming on in. He has a boat in five seconds to try and fight through this one. Twelve wand charges and the blads is all he has. And stuck on this tiny bridge. There's a lot of traffic here. Snowball say is going to maybe deny the rum buff here, however, and it does. He doesn't have that Captain Coco's rum on this bridge is where his final resting place will be taught in the traffic jam. Story. He's keeping pace, and he is going to be a little bit of a difficult Doom target now that he has that first item when he's completed. Seems to be like he's heading back into the match style. Mac going for a walk through the woods. I don't know if this is really where he wanted to end up, though. Rum buff is going to be applied, as now the team is running on in to support him. This MP dying to the snowball as JG missed out on that hook stomp, actually. Jing slow to a crawl by the Solar Guardian. It's going to be... Allowed to continue fighting here as Mac with Coco's Rum still applied, looking to extend this fight. Now, Sumi is running on in. That's a level one equipped with two level two Lucent Beams. JG forced to use the Stampede as he actually looks to try and turn and perhaps fight this a bit better. There's no way that juke works, right? This is it's like literally no way, right? Right? Okay, yeah, I was right. They let him try and think he was going to escape. In the meantime, they focus down onto Ken. Jing hits him with the voice line, and this one, Winter. It might be starting to ball out of control. Ooh, lots of Courier's getting filled there, actually. Uh, that was a lot of Courier's. Someone's Axe Scepter, I think, was on that. Uh, I don't know. I thought I saw an Axe. We'll see. The fight's now kicking off. They're onto Story. They did break his Lincoln Spear already. They're looking for a Doom target, and now they have it. They want the Ember Spear first. They're not really that scared of Chidori, and perhaps they're right. The Snowball is going to be now targeted. Uh, I'm not sure where it went, actually, but the Kunkka 
Uh, no, it's just, everyone's fine. Jin even refusing to die finally is going to die thanks to that buyback of the Ember Spirit. The damage is going to be too high. Chidori able to waveform back up to the high ground, but he's being chased down and slowed by the purge of one of the Harpy creeps. Everyone except the Tusk is still quite healthy as Ken. Did he actually remnant back in? Ken? Wants to extend this fight? All right, we'll be able to get up to the high ground safely. That was that was a bold move right there. They're smoking up, trying to run into the enemy team even though they don't have a dagger on the side. Yeah, but they do have Swing Chains. It's not a good target here. Again, but he has the self-divine favor. And now he's he alive? to back him up. And they're really chasing the Adeptus Strike coming off the Snowball, pulling him back onto Ken. Down he goes. Chidori really just wants to get a single kill here, but look how fast Ken is now, especially with the full web. X marks the pop, bringing JG back. He caught a glimpse of what would have been a sweet, sweet kill onto the Chen and won't find one. Chidori, at least, able to actually focus and take down Natsumi. That's a lot of gold into his pocket. And it'll be pretty useful if he can just live long enough to spend it, take it down, and have a beautiful nice snowball. snowball. Stopping the good death of Mac. Thanks to that Illuminate uh, the water punch as well. What a fight. My goodness, Jing. That is something, even though it didn't look like they did. They did Mac Mountain. Got time to pray. What peck into Kunkka's water park. Excuse me, sir. No running in Kunkka's water park. The heck has blinded. He is still going to be able to get this kill out to cast away. Oh, no. What's going on mid as well? Uh, mid lane, uh, Cox finds the two on the can. So he's dead already. And Jory is going to morph into Natsumi, who has the shot on He's really doing some damage. Because can he really just one v one Chidori here? You bet your bottom dollar that he can. Cox now unable to catch up to Bombi as they can still at least get around these ice shards. Bombi trying hopefully to keep me away in front of the Luna. Losing team. Tired of her. Tired of this Kotal Ember Spirit Shinigans. Honestly, their portraits look almost the same. If you click on the Coddle and then you click on JG, mm. like the, the, the portraits. Uh, uh, sure. What do you mean? Look at the skin. They look exactly the same. They're both a yes, hair. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go fight. Yeah, fight time. Oh, JG's already dead. Blade Mount not saving him there. And the Doom. It's on to Ken, but they need someone to cancel his CP. Oh, no. He is not going to make it out to cancel himself, I believe. JG having bought back now finds himself already in the low ground with Walrus Punch, Tidal Wave done over to Natsumi who trapped inside the Sprout is just having kills delivered to him like it's grab delivery here. Looking for perhaps one more now, Ishidori attempting to escape out from this game, cast away the only hero with buyback now, Ishidori pushed further and further from the relative safety of his fountain. I say relative because look at where he dies right outside the fountain and Neon.